Off the top at five, we are learning new details about the driver who fled Secret Service last Friday, then crashed a few blocks away from the White House, allegedly killing one woman and severely injuring a second. Stephanie Ramirez is standing by live a few blocks away from the White House with new details tonight. Steph. Good, Marina. Police tell us 35-year-old Spiros Tafalados is the driver arrested and charged in this striking. Two women who were in the crosswalk near 14th and New York Avenue here. You can see the markings all over the ground here. New court documents saying that the women were thrown as far as the suspect's vehicle. That vehicle not stopping until some 150 feet away from the crosswalk location. Now, the court documents also say some of the statements that the suspect made to law enforcement afterward claiming that he feared for his life. Uh, he told police that he thought the uniformed Secret Service officer was an armed robber. He allegedly made a comment saying he didn't care if they were dead, that he's alive and bleeding right now, and that he has a mental health disability that will help him in court. Police say the suspect tested positive for cocaine and marijuana after. This started when uniformed Secret Service officers on mountain bikes tried to conduct a traffic stop on the suspect's stopped beauty. This was on 15th Street, just outside of the White House. Police say he then took off and gets into an accident, striking two women as his car was spinning out of control. A search for Stefalodos' name online shows a significant court history in the region. It appears he was recently sentenced to three years behind bars for the 2020 robbery with a knife of the same White Oak Montgomery County gas station convenience store where a clerk was shot and killed last month. The suspect served a little over a year and a half for that with unsupervised probation afterward. That's according to a Maryland online court database. A state court spokesperson was not in today to answer any questions about the sentence that he was given, given his court history. Now, today, we were also in Vienna, where we spoke with a neighbor of the two women struck. The neighbor expressed concern that a marked Secret Service scout vehicle had also chased the Buick in the busy city area here. A Secret Service spokesperson told us that is something the U.S. Attorney's Office will address in federal court. Going back to that neighbor, she did say that she knows both the women. The one critically injured is 33 years old, and she told us that this is a senseless tragedy that horribly affected two innocent lives and their families were told their families are not from this country but are now trying to make their way here. Back to you.